will be able to walk away. <laughs> Definitely the opportunity for more towers to be taken. Tier 2's being pressured. And Liquid, their lineup at least not really until Mickey has his first item uh, are, are going to be ready to, to respond to these. You know, this is a lot of space for Nick, but to get away with these objectives that they're taking. Arms for the dead. Dyer's top tower is under attack. <laughs> Radiant structures are fortified. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. I mean, uh, at the moment, they're just trying to hold things off, make space for Mickey. Uh, he is he's the man that needs to carry them. They'll lose their call. Outside of the base, Insania found it's more easy pickoffs for Enigma to find that they can transition into another tier 2 tower. They just continue to eat up the map faster and faster. Enigma getting less and less time to really get their cores online as Mickey still tries to finish off this S and Y. And you know, Enigma, they're, they're going to start poking at high. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom to jump. Tower Looks for the mind control. Puckner drags him in. The Ignis Fartu is catching the four of them with the Inkswell and Boxy. They'll finish off one. They'll try and chase for more. The Chain Frost only bounces out a couple of times. Boxy, he's going to be certainly looking to try and chase this for more if they hang around, but they won't. Nigma backs right off. Without the Pugna, they don't want to try and force high ground without the full roster alive. Then I'm on. So from game one, they just have, you know, because they were able to have such a, uh, a more solid start from the off, they're playing to their timings. They've got a clear way that they want to end this game. And it really is just all on Team Liquid to try and find some sort of way to slow them down. They, they have got that blink, as we say on Quafer. They've got that dual initiation. They do have the combos, you know, Soulbind into Lasso's Dragon Tails. It's a huge amount of lockdown. Damage is still going to be the main issue for, for Liquid's lineup, though. Actually getting these kills before a, a protective Decrepify comes out or suddenly a few heals are, are pumped out from a, a Death Pulse and the, the protection's given from a Frost Shield. They've got to try and find ways to isolate the heroes of Enigma. Boxy. 
is caught outside of the base. That's a scythe drops as well. 70 seconds, no bat. It's, try it's time to start knocking at the high ground again for Nigba. No bat to worry about. And this Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. I mean, has. I'll take that. Oh, they did double up. Radiant are scanning. Okay. I mean, I mean, I guess they're winning, so you know, whatever at the moment. Uh, but uh, yeah, not not sort of your standard. It is. It is, but I think that gold on Nygma's heroes right now is, is much more scary than the difference indicates. A straight in GH goes on to Tiger. There'll be a buyback from Boxy. He's ready to turn into this one. The soul binds out. Locking together both GH and We Are. He's committing here with the battle chance, Mickey. The battle chance is soon to end. Jump forward with the remnant. Mickey is straight up dead. It's a beautiful chain frost from Kuro. Could not be any better. Bouncing between Quake from Boxy. That's a dieback on the bat. Nygma can stand their ground. They can clean up this. Second Rax here on the top lane, getting both of them from Liquid. There's two buybacks from Team Liquid, but still, their heroes, they just don't have the power to slow down this sort of 20-minute push that Nygma's coming in with. Dire structures are fortified. Radiant structures are fortified. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And it's honestly, it's just, it's an. Uh, last game, I really felt was an impossible void game. This game, I wouldn't necessarily say impossible, but very close to for a troll. These heroes are not fun to play into. You walk in, you press on a million ways to be kited. You're just never going to finish off the kill that you get in as long as Nigma have the team together. And obviously at this time, in 21 minutes in, Nigma are keeping the full five man right by each other because that's all they need to do to be able to take these racks. They move down mid, they take a second set of racks. Liquid, they don't have an answer right now. We really are sort of seeing the series turned on its head and it's Liquid being forced into the position that Nygma were in game one. Yeah. Outside the Lotus, they get in with the lasso. Weeha is dead. A little bit of a break in the force of Nigma. Liquid, they've got to try and punish this more. One kill at the moment isn't enough. They have to chase and try and find what they can whilst Nigma cannot fight with the full five man. Miracle, another remnant to jump out with. He's going to go for the TP. Do they have any TP cancel in range? They don't. So Miracle will escape. The rest of Nigma do get out of there, but a little bit of breathing room for Liquid with We Are off the map. At least 30 seconds where they don't have to worry about the push coming in. It's not a lot of time. It's a little something, but they they need something more still, Liquid, to, to really be able to turn this one. I mean, if you, if you asked yet, she'll say, what an, I never bought an earn. What an, I never bought I, 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 we, we cover for him. You know, GH, she never bought an earn. He rushed Blade Mail, nice, nice, very nice. Down, down, bottom. Dyer's bottom tower They're onto the tier two. And obviously, no expectations to see Liquid do anything around this. Liquid are going to have this final defense, really, inside their base, this bottom set of racks. It didn't work out top. It did not work out mid. What sort of changed between then and now? Not really a whole lot. 2k gold's been built up on Mickey, but that's, you know, still 2k gold away from having a BKB. They've got a... They... 
Yeah, even then, it's it's still a bit of a pipe dream away. It feels the the potential of turning this one. Nigma just one racks away from basically just breaking the game out and taking this game's two victory points. But does get the jump in onto mind control, but an instant protection is there. GH looking on the side for Tiger, jumps in with the cogs with the side down. That's quite for dead for 100. There's no buyback on him. They do get the sword by Lasso in onto both GH and Miracle. Miracle still with the remnant available to jump to the side. Another one to get out of there as We Are moves enough the front lines, starts to push back Foxy and Mickey. Mickey will get the battle trance off, but he's been spirit vessel. He's not healing up. Miracle's getting low but the disarms onto Mickey they won't even kill the Ember they'd only lose GH and they'll tap out GG is called Enigma strike back hard in this game too to get this victory and bring the series to a 1-1 and I've got to say it really was night and day for me for the drafts of Team Enigma game one I don't know what was going on game two they really looked at how Liquid wanted to play in game one and they said hey we can play fast-paced Dota 2